Today is the first time Juneteenth is being observed with closures of federal agencies, banks, schools and more. The official holiday was yesterday, marking the end of slavery on June 19th in 1865. Right now, educators and community members are coming together in Palm Beach County to learn more about supporting black students in the classroom. It is the African American and Caribbean Studies Summer Institute. WPTV education reporter Stephanie Suskind shows you why this annual event carries more weight this year. This Summer Institute is back in person after being virtual for two years, and it happens every year, but it takes on more meaning this year with the laws coming down the pipeline set to take effect in less than two weeks. So now that they, they trust me, they will learn from me. That is research for black students. Teachers and community members are the students this week, learning through a series of workshops how to better reach all kids. Making sure that we preserve the history of African Americans and making sure that we address the needs of not only black children, but all children. Brian Knowles helps put on the event at the school district. He says with the current climate bringing politics into the classroom and laws changing on July 1st, these sessions are more important than ever. Even parts of the new laws actually expand to teaching African American history. A lot of people don't understand. Um, there are some parts that we may not agree with. Um, and I think as a school district that we are making sure that you know, having these forums are ways to help and support our teachers navigate through the new legislation and making sure that we can continue to share our stories in a way that is appropriate for all of our students. One new law known as the Individual Freedom Measure bans educators from teaching certain topics related to race and is designed to prevent teachers from making students feel guilt or shame about their race because of historical events. Knowles hopes this week helps clear up some of the misunderstanding and confusion. Mitigate some of the fears that our educators are having or how to deal with it. So just to kind of build that confidence and just to kind of ease some of those fears that we can continue to work. Dr. Clarence Walker teaches social studies at Suncoast High School. He's hoping to bring some new tools and tactics back to his classroom. In our diverse world where we have contact with students from many different experiences and many different backgrounds, it is vitally important that we know as much as we do about their history, about their culture, so that we can positively interact with them. As far as the new laws coming on the books, Walker says he won't let it stop him from doing his job. I am just going to do what I've always been doing, uh, reaching those kids, giving them everything I got and more. Events are taking place all week long here at Palm Beach Lakes High School and they are open to the community. If you'd like more information, we have the schedule on our website, WPTV.com. In West Palm Beach, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.